Hello YouTube, Caitlin here, and what are you doing on spring break? Going wild! <laughs> So it's spring and the birds are singing and people are going to the beach and everything is wonderful and naked. Naked? Isn't that what you do on spring break? Totally right. Okay, I am a nerd and I have never actually gone on what you might term as spring break. Not in high school, not in college, not beach week after I graduated from high school or college. None of these crazy, wild, teenage, young adult things. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Let's find out. I didn't do these things because my nerdiness and my introvertedness pretty much meant I didn't have very much in the way of friends in high school. And then in college, I spent a lot of time with people but mm, I wasn't really the type of person that you invited to go hang out at the beach with. Even though I in fact love the beach. But in college I kind of spent my spring break studying or writing papers, so you can just see where that would have ended me if I'd actually gone on a spring break. Sometimes I think back and I wonder if I should have gone on a spring break and would I have had fun? Would it have been an experience that I really needed to have? Maybe it could have been really interesting and fun. But then I did some research and I pretty much found out that it's exactly the way that they portray it in movies. And I don't really like that kind of scene. And what I mean by how it's portrayed in movies is the drinking and the drugs and the partying and the people falling off of balconies and just sex indiscriminately. And I, I don't do any of those things. They're not my kind of scene at all. Ah. A more ideal spring break for me would be hanging out with like two to five friends at home, just playing video games and watching movie marathons and maybe some board games and like drawing. I don't know why that seems fun, but like painting things and going exploring in the woods. That would be really cool. So here's some statistics that I found. I'm gonna put links to them all down below in the doobly-doos. So here we go. Apparently the top spots to go for spring break are Panama City in Florida and South Padre Island in Texas. Anyway, in Florida, a half a million students come there and in Texas, they have 150,000 people come in the spring. That's a lot of people. I also thought it was interesting that 40% of men plan on being drunk throughout the day, that that's, Something that they list as an ambition for being on spring break. Who plans to be drunk? Why is that like, what? <laughs> so apparently college students are averaging six drinks a week when they're normally at school, which I think is kind of outrageous anyway. Ha, that's a lot of alcohol. Like when are you drinking all of that? Um, but during the week of spring break, they consume more than 10 a day. 10 drinks a day. What do you start drinking at breakfast and go all the way through? Then in South Padre Island, an average of 25 people are arrested a day. That's really fun. And then apparently about 100,000 students go to Cancun, Mexico because the drinking age is lower and there are lower prices on alcohol and bail. Something that I thought was interesting was that if you are caught drinking underage in Florida, then you're charged with a misdemeanor and you have to appear in court. And that could take up to 30 days. So that means if you live in New York and you've gone all the way to Florida, then you are gonna have to come back in order to appear in court in Florida and that's gonna be more expenses. And if you're under 18 and you get caught, your parents actually have to come down and get you. And they're like, oh, but Caitlin, people aren't drinking under age, except that there were 20,000 fake IDs confiscated last year. And then you have about 2,000 arrests of underage drinkers. And then you have people who are drinking until they get sick or pass out. They're literally drinking until they can drink no more. And then it also has this little, alcohol is a fatal attraction for teens. It's implicated in three major causes of death in children and teens in the country. I'm sure this is true. Just sometimes when things are worded this way, it just, it makes me laugh. Oh, alcohol, you are my fatal attraction. So now let's talk about spring break and sex. Apparently 26% of males and 36% of females fail to use a condom during sex with someone they met on spring break. What? Ah, the next statistic, 50% of males and 41% of females reporting having consumed alcohol just prior to sex. So it's like, let's get drunk and get jiggy. That's what my brother says, that he says get jiggy with it. I don't know why. So it's like liquid courage? And then it says about 50% of men and women who had sex under the influence regretted the experience. Really, I wonder why. Maybe because you weren't using protection and you were just having sex with random people. Ew. But then what doesn't make sense to me is this statistic where it says 74% of males and nearly 88% of females reported never or rarely worrying about STDs, HIV, even though they were at risk. What? 
What? Do people really not know that you just can't indiscriminately have sex and not get infections and all kinds of stuff? That's just like, I'm gonna kiss all the sick people and lick the floor, but I'm never gonna get sick. It's impossible. Ugh. I'm a teenager and I'm invincible. I just, I can't, I can't comprehend the stupidity of people. Like, I can't normally take it, but I don't even understand why I look this stuff up because it's just making me angrier. And finally, there was one kind of little light of hope of someone who wasn't just giving you negative statistics, but was like, kids are gonna go on these trips, whether you're in high school or in college, people are gonna do it. And so just try and be smart about it. So then they give you some tips with number one being always stay in a group and never leave your drink unattended, which is kind of just a general rule of going to parties. If you have alcohol around and, you know, creeper people, whether they're male or female, just stick together. Don't just be like, hey, look, this is my drink. <laughs> you want to see it? You're not going to put anything in it, right? Number two, always have your cell phone. That means that you have access to other people and people have access to you. If anyone's in trouble, you got your little thing going on and you can just be like, hey, I am in serious trouble. I don't know where I am and I'm so drunk that I'm throwing up everywhere. Number three, be smart about cash. This was actually probably the best thing that they could have said because I just, I didn't even think about it. You know, you're only gonna have a certain amount of money and a lot of places don't always take debit cards. Um, so you need to be safe about what you're spending. People actually spend a whole lot of money during spring break. Just thousands and thousands of dollars per person. And then number four, it gives you the ominous warning that social network sites make it possible for what you've done on spring break to last forever. That it's not going to just go away. If you do something embarrassing or illegal or who knows what, more than likely there's gonna be a picture of it somewhere and someone, future employers, your mom and dad, your grandma, they're gonna find it. What happens on spring break doesn't stay on spring break. So now that I've inundated you with a bunch of statistics that may or may not be true, I feel like they're generally kind of telling the story that I'm trying to get across here that, you know, spring break may be fun in a sense, but it's also filled with a lot of things that you can regret and can cause you lifelong problems like getting arrested or getting an STD or just, oh, you know, having horrible pictures of you throwing up all over some statue somewhere. Just Anyway, what do you think? Have you been on spring break? Has it been a good experience, a bad experience? Do you think that kids these days just don't know what they're doing anymore when it comes to spring break? Or maybe spring break is like the penultimate moment of your life and you just cannot wait to go. In that case, please take into consideration the tips at the end of this video. Stay safe, my ducklings. So if my silliness has made you smile, then remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. See you guys next Thursday. <laughs>